Good morning! As I'm back home here in Florida and missing the Appalachian Trail tremendously, I want to talk about some hiker etiquette that's really important for any through hiker, but really any hiker. So let's talk about it. Though Florida is extremely flat, most other trails are not. And so we come into the position of deciding who has a right of way when going uphill or downhill. And the rule is those that are going uphill do have the right of way. It is because they've already started the momentum of going uphill and to stop and suddenly regain the momentum is a lot more difficult than for those that are going downhill. So in general, uphill has the right of way and also uphill gets to make the decision whether they want to stop or not. Because some uphill hikers like the opportunity to stop when there is a hiker coming down the hill. So they often use it as an opportunity to kind of take a break. But in general, those that are going uphill have the right of way, so be considerate. Let those that are going uphill pass you. Not pass you, but get by you. This gets us to the next topic of slow hikers must yield to faster hikers. This means if there's a hiker coming behind you having a much faster speed than you, you as a slow hiker need to stop and let the faster hiker pass you by. Now for those faster hikers, please be considerate. Some people are really concentrating or meditating. So as a faster hiker, you are required to make some sort of noise as to not to startle the slower hiker. The way I used to do that was either I would go and clear my throat or I would use my trekking poles a little bit more excessively so they could hear my trekking poles. So when you're at camp, there's other hikers around and it's getting dark, what you don't want to do is use this light on your headlamp. So this happens to be on your headlamp and it is a light that you would use when you are actually on trail and walking and hiking at night because it does allow you to see things on the trail. But some hikers seem to think that this light is appropriate while camping around other people and they start having an, an amazing light show inside of their tent that does keep up all the other hikers or some hikers even use this while in the shelter when people are sleeping um, because they need to see. Just for your reference, this light right here is the low setting of my white light and I will show you the low setting, the second and then the highest setting and some people use this. What you are to use is actually your red light that happens to be on your headlamp as well and this is the lowest setting of my red light and this one is a lot less disruptive and it is just a kind and appropriate thing to do. This gets me to the next point called hiker midnight. So at point of sundown, hikers start settling in their tents or hammocks or shelters and begin to rest as well as start sleeping. This means that if there's hikers around each other, we are expected to be quiet and respect the other hikers rest. So that means don't use your headlamp excessively, especially not the bright light, use your red light. Do not talk on your cell phone four hours after Hiker Midnight and try to refrain from playing your musical instrument after Hiker Midnight. This is called Hiker Midnight, it's not called through Hiker Midnight. Um, so yeah, let's be considerate of each other. Let's, let's uh, let people rest after Hiker Midnight has arrived. And this whole etiquette video wouldn't be complete if we didn't talk about the cat hole. As a hiker, you are expected to do number one or number two about 200 feet off trail and if you have to go number two you're expected to dig a hole also known as a cat hole which is supposed to be six to eight inches deep you are expected to cover it up appropriately so it doesn't affect any wildlife as in they wouldn't be able to dig it back up and that is the general expectation and this is me looking at all the guys whipping their thing out right in the middle of the trail, not deciding to get off trail for those 200 feet. You know who you are. 